Welcome to Nish News Weekly Broadcast. Regional News Four persons, including three engineering students, were killed and another 60 injured during a stampede at the Cochin University of Science and Technology, QSAT, on number 25. The tragic incident that shook the country occurred at 6 p.m. The students and many others were enjoying a music program. Many of them were sitting inside the auditorium and others were standing outside. As a drizzle fell, those outside hurried towards the gate to gain entry to the auditorium. As individuals started descending the stairs after entering through the gate, people from behind began to fall, resulting in a chaotic stampede. A team led by Trikakara ACP will probe into the stampede at the Cusat campus. The police have registered a case for unnatural death and observed that lapses in the program arrangements led to the tragedy. A six-year-old girl named Abigail, a native of Velinalur in Oyur, is kidnapped while she was walking to a tuition center with her eight-year-old brother, Jonathan. She was abducted by people in a car on number 27. The abductors rang up her mother and demanded a ransom of five lakh rupees. The amount was quickly jacked up to ten lakh rupees after one of the kidnappers spoke to Abigail's father, Reggie John. Tracking the call, the police questioned a woman who worked in a bakery from whose phone the call was made. The kidnappers borrowing her phone revealed they were attempting to throw the police off the track. A massive manhunt was launched in Kollam and neighbouring districts. Later, a group of students found Abigail abandoned at the Ashrama Maidan Kollam on November 28. It is found that the child was dropped by a woman who had arrived in an auto rickshaw. The child went home with her parents after official procedures. The state police are intensifying the investigation to find out the abductors. The four-day state school science festival is being conducted at various venues in Tiruvannathapuram. The fest was inaugurated by Shanavas, Director of General Education on November 30. Nearly 7,500 high school, high secondary and vocational high secondary students participate in the state festival. There are nearly 180 events, 18 in the science fair, 29 in the mathematics fair, 15 in the social sciences fair, 102 in the Work Experience Fair and 16 in the IT Fair. The fest will end on December 3rd. More than 30 lakh Kudumbasri neighborhood group women participated in the Kudumbasri's Back to School Women Empowerment Program. Kudumbasri hopes to get the remaining 16 lakh NHG members to go back to school by December 10 so that all 46 lakh members get the training. Tiruvannathapuram International Airport has bagged the Environmental Excellence Award at the 23rd Annual Green Tech Environment Awards 2023 for outstanding performance in the emission reduction initiatives undertaken. Over to national news. 41 workers who were trapped in the Silkiara Tunnel in Uttakashi for 17 days were successfully rescued on November 28. It was one of the most challenging rescue operations taken up in India. The workers were trapped in the dark under construction passage on number 12. The rat hole miners in the rescue team along with the army 
managed to manually dig through 55 meters of the debris horizontally to reach the trap workers. The workers were kept on observation for two days. The Uttarakhand chief minister announced 1 lakh rupees each in compensation for the workers. The president and the prime minister congratulated the people behind the effective rescue operation. India would host an industry roundtable on developing the country as a MICE meetings, incentives, conferences and exhibitions tourism destination. At the roundtable, which was held at Bharat Mandapam in New Delhi, the Ministry of Tourism elaborated on its key initiatives aimed at promoting India as a premier MICE destination. The Union Women and Child Development Ministry launched a special protocol for the Anganwadi workers to help them track and help children with disabilities in the 0 to 6 group. As part of the new protocol, Anganwadi workers will be provided with training that will help them spread awareness of the issue. The Union Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani said that it is a silent revolution when observed from a community perspective. She also said that priority is given to integrate students with disabilities into mainstream schools, which is given emphasis in NEP 2020. Over to international news. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson met Union Minister for Science and Technology Jitendra Singh on number 28 to discuss India's research interest during the joint mission to the International Space Station ISS in the coming year for which the U.S. will be training an Indian astronaut. The joint mission to the space station is planned for the end of 2024. Mr. Nelson will meet astronaut Raghi Sharma in Bengaluru. He will also visit facilities in Bengaluru where the NISA spacecraft joint Earth observing mission between NASA and ISRO is undergoing testing and integration for launch in 2024. With this news, we come to the end of Nish News Weekly broadcast. I'm Sandeep Krishnan, ISL faculty at Nish, signing the news for you along with Ms. Sylvie Maximena, Nish faculty. See you again next week. Thank you.